Sarah is the lead singer, the front person of the Hudson Valley Band. Yes. They seem to be doing very well at the moment. Top 40 singles and all sorts yeah. of good things. And uh, I've just been, I've, on my other screen over here, I've got your uh, web page and your Facebook page. Oh, okay. And I see that you've got a few, uh, you've got a few gigs coming up. So I had a couple of uh, questions actually about these gigs because. Sure. First thing you could tell me actually, and if I, if I look at the Facebook page, it says kind of top left, it says intro, music makers, whiskey drinkers. Are you whiskey drinkers as well? Oh, yes. So that that's kind of like our, our slogan is around here is that, that that's what that's the two things we're really good at making music okay. and drinking whiskey. <laughs> well, then we have two things very much in common. Um, Perfect. When I was doing the uh, when I was playing on the American bases, we were sponsored by Jack Daniels. Ah, that's about 45 minutes from where I live right now. Anyway, that's got really nothing to do with anything. But um, I was yes. slightly intrigued by music makers, you know, whiskey drinkers. I thought, Sounds good. I like that slogan, you know. Thanks. <laughs> so what is this place all red in terms of gigs? I mean, it's obviously a club. It's a chain now. Um, it's owned by Blake Shelton. Okay. So, yeah. So um, it's his bar down here on Broadway. Um, he has a couple different ones. We're opening a new one. Um, the newest one will be coming in Las Vegas. Um, we've got one opening in the airport in Nashville. Um, I think it opens next month. Um, but we've got a couple. And uh, that's like our home base. We're, we're there weekly. So that's like our, our number one spot. So it is um, a bar downtown on Broadway, um, but it's very much catered to live music. So it's the biggest stage down there, the best sound system, that kind of stuff. It's uh, it's definitely meant for music rather than just going to have a few drinks. So when the, uh, when the other uh, places open, I mean, are you going to be touring around all of them? Do you have a kind of deal to do that? We, we totally plan to. Um, we plan to get out of Tennessee see this year so now that they're allowing us to go back out and travel we're uh we've got a couple things in the works we've got a couple things booked and uh, we plan to be out at least all through the summer so that that's our plan as of right now god you know god forbid anything else were to happen but as of right now that's what our plan is talking about the, going back to the gigs what's this other place here i'm looking at these places uh whiskey row whiskey jam whiskey row is a, a venue um, it's Dirk Bentley's bar on Broadway. He has a couple bars as well around the country. Um, but we're playing there on Saturday, I think. Um, so it's like one of the other ones that we frequent. And then Whiskey Jam is actually uh, not a venue. It's a, a showcase down here in Nashville on uh, Music Row. It's at Winner's Bar and Grill or however you want to call it. Um, it's a like a rite of passage here in Nashville. Um, so a lot of the big artists that are out and about right now have been through Whiskey Jam. They are part of the Jam fam. And this will be our fifth time, I believe, playing Whiskey Jam. So it's uh, definitely a highlight for any artist who comes to Nashville. It's like one of those those boxes that you want to check. And uh, it's, it's only been around for about 10 years now, but it's been uh, very influential on the country music genre and the artists that you hear that have made it big, you know, so it's, it's pretty cool to be a part of that. So really, is it a jam session or, I mean, or is it just one band or one artist? No, 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 no. So it, it started off that way. Um, the man who started it, Ward Gunther, uh, it was a jam, um, but that was how it started. Uh, as of right now, what it is, is that there's like usually about seven or eight artists that they have um, who are, you know, asked to kind of play. Um, and everybody has to do all originals and you can only do three songs. Um, I mean, well, you're supposed to do three songs. The last time we played, we got an encore request, so we played four, but usually you're only supposed to play three. So that, that's kind of how they do it. And they keep it rotating. So everything is there, you know, the house kit stays, the amps all stay, everything kind of, they switch them off really quick. And then that, that's kind of how it works is that, you know, as many people that we can get up on stage as possible in a short amount of time. See, this is more meant to be a showcase of songwriters. Yeah. So that's why it's, you're, you know, you're meant to put out, you know, your songs so that people, and it's been 
very popular um, for a lot of tourists now because originally it was just the people who you know are around town, um, people who are down here trying to be an artist, that kind of stuff. Um, that used to be that kind of thing, but now it's very popularized to the the public. So now it's it's every Monday and every Thursday, and he does it weekly. So it's oh. it's all the time. <laughs> Let's let's go back to Hudson Valley. Why are you called Hudson Valley? <laughs> um, well, my husband and I, uh, my husband is our drummer, Richie. Um, we are from the Hudson River Valley in New York. And when we were down here, um, we had originally started off just doing me as a female solo act. Um, and then it was kind of put together that we were like, you know, Nashville, well, country music as a whole doesn't have a female fronted band. And we kind of wanted to pave our own lane to kind of go down something that's a little different than most. So we were trying to do the band thing. And when we were coming up with the names, um, one of the people that we were working with said, well, about Hudson Valley. And we just thought that was so dumb. <laughs> we were like, no, it's like, but we found out, you know, since changing the name and, you know, being Valley, um, a lot of people don't know that it's a real place. So it, it's been kind of funny to see people realize like, oh, that's where we're from. <laughs> You're Sarah, you're the lead singer. Yes. Um, I think uh, the guy with the big black beard plays guitar, right? Yes, he does. That's Matt. Right. And your husband is on drums? and My husband is the drummer, Richie, yep. And Andrew plays bass. Now, I also read that, uh, you know, your your influences are quite varied and... There are phrases like pop punk and uh, and rock. I'm not actually quite sure what pop punk is, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so where does that come from? Well, the pop punk is Richie. That's all him. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think because if, if you're over on the other side of the pond, I'm gonna you know the Ramones. That that's that's pretty pop punk. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess it's pop music. I I tend to think of the Ramones as just out and out punk. Well, not, all right, so not pop punk, punk rock. That, that's where I'm going with it, yeah. I mean, coming from London, you know, I mean, if I if someone says to me punk, I am I just immediately think of The Clash. I think uh, in terms of, you know, punk music for me, the essential thing about punk is the energy. Oh, yeah. Musicians put into what they do. Um is that true for you? I mean, do you have a lot of energy on stage when you're when you're playing? One hundred percent. Oh, there's there's lots of jumping, there's lots of sweat, there's lots of drinking, there's lots of oh, it's it's very much a rock band. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and so the other, as you say, it's a rock band. The other thing I, I I read was that it was like it was like country lyrics in a if you like in a sort of rock um, structure. Right, right. Mostly, yeah, mostly because I do write a lot of the songs. Um, and favorite part of country music is the way that the lyrics are more made to sound like a story. You know, they're more yeah. storytelling than most songs. Um, so I think that when it comes down to what is our country vibe in the, um, my voice is very country influenced. And the way that we, uh, we write our songs, like the lyrics are very country forward um but when it's all put together i think it's very evident that the band is very much a rock band when you're writing then um what are your influences as a writer um for me i think um real life situations are the best thing for me to write about i, I don't know how to i'm not very good at making things up you know okay. Um, so when I do write things, they're pretty close to home, uh, or situations that I've been through or, you know, something that I have a friend who went through, you know, something like that. Like I have to know about what I'm writing about. Um, so we, a lot of our songs are true to things that have happened in my life or friends and family's lives and that kind of stuff. And I think that's been the most authentic way for us to kind of stay with our songwriting is because we we write about stuff that we only know about. <laughs> so that's why we have a couple drinking songs. <laughs> Does anybody else in the band write or do they contribute to the music at all? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, we started um, last year really starting to kind of 
get together as a band to kind of writing songs together. Um, the boys play all the music, you know, like however you hear it um, on the records, but we've uh, started doing this like whole little like jam session type of a thing where we all just kind of start playing and see what happens, you know, like, so we'll just kind of do stuff and it might start off one way and do a complete 180 and end up a whole totally different way. But okay. we do it like all together at the same time and just kind of go with whatever seems to be working in the moment. Good. So Sarah, I'd like to say thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me, Nigel. I appreciate it. Well, um, really, it's the other way around. I can't tell you how much we miss you guys over here. And uh, we really do appreciate that, you know, people do take the time to do these interviews with us. It makes Oh, of course. Makes Perfect. OK, Sarah, thanks again. And Thank I'm you so much for talking with me. Wave you goodbye. OK. And uh, all the best to the guys in the band. Love listening to the music. I love that energy. It's good stuff. All right. Bye. Bye.